But um, so my name is Carlos Baez, and I'm going to talk about GI science and institutions and um, some things we can learn about them um, through this really fascinating case I found. So, um, so essentially, the basis of my talk is what are the spatial properties of the rules of society? And probably the most uh, abstract case is Conway's Game of Life. So if you've ever heard about it, you have these four rules. And then with these four rules, you can essentially produce these like spatial patterns and stuff. And so a lot of it gets a lot of attention with respect to kind of um, the rules of life in general, by uh, applications of biology, physics, and so forth. Um, and so on my end, I study something closer to real life. And so it's a lot more complicated, fragile, indirect. And the thing is, is that human agency shapes a lot of the institutions that we kind of have to live under. So examples are like constitutions, laws, social norms, traditions. And this is one famous example. And it's a very strong institution. And it's occasionally trumped by, you know, some individuals. But um, this is kind of what I'm talking about. And so this case here, Yellowstone Zone of Death. So it's this tiny strip here in um, in Idaho. And the thing is, is that there's this case, there's this these thoughts about like, well, what would happen if if someone committed a murder here? And it turns out that because of um, because of the the way um, when the park was established. Um, so it was established before the states of uh, Montana and Wyoming and stuff. So it doesn't follow the borders of it neatly. And then there's this green area here, which I think is the court, is the circuit court. So this is like the court system that would deal with this. And then the zone here, it's like in Idaho. But it turns out that because of the Sixth Amendment, you need to be tried by someone that is in this state, but also in this court district. And it turns out that nobody lives in this like little intersection. And so, um, well, does this matter? Uh, yeah, kind of. So there's been some uh, pressure from some certain congressmen to kind of change the rules as to like how, um, how people who would commit crimes in this area would be tried. And we know that there's one example of a elk hunter that got caught illegally hunting but the judge let him go because there was just no jury to like convict him. So instead of setting some awful president, he said, I'm just going to ignore it. So um, what, what about institutions in GI science? I think we need to collect a lot more information about, you know, what are the rules of our society and how they affect us in every single day. And so that's kind of what I work with. Um, thank you.